What are some of the things we're looking forward to in this year's uh, Odun of Ifa? Well, we're looking forward to um, what we always look forward to. Um, this is why it is our custom here in Oyotunji to do a pre-festival reading to see what the forecast, what heaven is saying. What is heaven saying about what you're getting ready to do? What are you going to run into? What should your theme or your message be? The most important one this year. We, um, when we looked at it this year, E5 spoke to us in the Holy Odu or Turapon Meiji, which let us know we are now, we're at another juncture. At, an, at, a, at another period in this thing. We're now going to stabilize, break ground, to stabilize keep our worship in America for African Americans. They should come here because we're gonna um, allocate lots of time this year for serious discussion. Um, for the uninitiated or the non-priest community, Chief Alagba, what would we say is um, their investment in coming and participating with us this weekend in the Festival of Ifa? Well, of course, as we know, everyone comes to the world with a destiny, whether or not they are aware of it. And when you receive your hand of Ifa, receive the ancient uh, relic, icon, paraphernalia of Ifa worship, that then you find out what your mission is. Now, before you leave heaven, you either kneel and receive your destiny, you request a destiny, or one is affixed to you. And in that light, then you come to the world, but through the trauma of birth, you forget what you said you wanted to do, wanted to accomplish, and what your mission was when you come to the earth. So, I'm not working. I'm not working. I got a lot of problems. The earth. So, most Africans in America live their life not knowing what their mission was. So, they fumble, mumble, stumble through life trying to determine is this the right thing to do? Is that not the right thing to do? When you receive your Ifa, then of course this outlines, it's rather like a road map of your life and telling you don't take this detour, take this detour to avoid this and so forth and so on. So anyone who is interested in finding out more about their destiny or receiving Ifa, then of course they can do that here at Oyotunji. On uh, quite another level, first weekend in August up in Baltimore, Maryland, the uh, Egbe Omo Yoruba National Convention. Chief, what are some of the things that uh, we, uh, coming from Oyotunji, hope to bring and exchange with this particular group? Well, of course, we would be more than pleased if we have the opportunity to outline some of the business projects and uh, business ideas and plans that have been formulated here at Oyotunji. The convention theme is political and economic development of Yorubas in the diaspora. And traditional rulers who are supposed to come to this conference, and of course, our, uh, Oba uh, Adekumi II uh, is planning to attend this conference and will outline some of what we want to do, what we expect to do, and what we would like to do uh, with this group and other of those who are interested in political and economic development of the Yorubas in the diaspora. I say. Well, Chief Ajamo, this year you will be across in Africa during the time of this convention, but uh, do you have some thoughts yourself on uh, some of the things that can be gained by these various groups coming together at this convention? But I wish that this year we could focus on more, seeing what the plan is of the Yorubas that have been here, laboring for the last 37 years. What do you have planned? What do you want to do here? Give us a chance to talk and lay out our plan. Come with a supportive spirit and see what it is that you can support. I think that would be our biggest blessing this year. For that occasion, 
Uh, also in news for Inside Oyotunji, we wouldn't want to go past not telling you that newly released is a wonderful film by our film producer, director, Ikoko Agbo, and that is Ajo Alade, A Royal Journey. This uh, film encompasses so many things. It's the personal story of our second Abba, born in South Carolina, born with a powerful destiny. Again, that word comes into play in terms of being able to step up to the plate. Here's the trailer. Let's take a look. <laughs> Thank you, I know God will guide you, and Asha. God will protect you, God Thank will be with you. Amen. Wherever I put your hand, it will prosper. I do pray. I promise you that. <laughs> Many people love to talk to you and love to see you. Uh -huh, I do pray. And I say I love to see you uh -huh. and I love to talk to you. This is your Africa. This is your this is your man. Uh, this is your Aha, Moye. Say hello. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are welcome to Nigeria. I do well. Thank you very much. Yeah, I want to I want you to take me to your place. The people are the African people that they think will not make the journey. You know, first of all, the one that were tired or sick. And second of all, the one that were rebels. So this is that that is the way they attach them. The female and the male. We hope you've enjoyed this uh, edition of Inside Oyotunji. We try to bring it to you each month here on YouTube. Brought to you by Great Benin Films and our film producer, Ikoko Agbo. I'm Igbe Rohingya Day, and it's always such a joy to be with you. Join us again next month for another edition of Inside Oyotunji.